Welcome to Stalker Gamma. So, what I'll be doing is... I, I will probably die. So what I'll be doing is I'll be cycling through each faction as I die. I'll be starting... Oh, well, start as always. Uh, I'll be starting with no starting equipment on all of them. So I'm going to drop all of this as soon as I spawn in. Uh, I'll spend all of my money at whatever trader is nearby as soon as I spawn in. And then from there, I will... You know, go out and find gear and survive, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Um, Invictus allows you to have two lives, but I have a touch of the OCD. So whenever I die in pretty much any game, I feel like I just have to start a new game. I don't know why. Like, I tried to play Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain like that. Uh, I never finished it, of course, because eventually after so many new games i got to i think the mission where you uh you're rescuing those five children from africa and uh, i died on that and I, at that point i was just so i was bored of the game by then it took me a long time anyway yeah so i'll only be playing with one life now i'm starting the cordon i'll get to uh, that fortune looks cool and this will be our loner Inco. Okay, everything looks good. Let's begin. I'm also not going to take um, the the early missions for companions, because I could just abuse the companions to kill some people and then get gear that way. I'd, I'd rather go and look for it on my own and try to, try to scavenge some. Uh, I'd also like to shout out Six's Bunker for inspiring me to play with no equipment on his Rags and Riches series. I'm re really enjoying that series, but his save file got corrupted, sadly. So hopefully, uh, hopefully he does another one of them. Okay, so first thing, we drop everything, including the knife. And we'll have a look here now. Okay, so I'm just going to go and spend my five grand at Sidrovich. Got one of them, and a battery, and that leaves us with 14 rubles. That's as close to nothing as you can get it, I think. Uh, I might as well take the quests while I'm here. I'm going to take the main storyline quest and see what work he has. A bandit in Jupiter? No. Yeah, we'll do the faction patches. Uh, a bandit in the wild territory, no. Get a shipment from the garbage, fine. A bandit in Jupiter, what is going on here? We'll take the one in the wild territory, I suppose. Um, the good thing about those is the, those bandits usually... Well, not if they're way up in Jupiter or something, but like, the guy in the wild territory will probably find his way down to the garbage at some point. Um, let's take his quest. We'll kill the mutants. Uh, this is the quest I'm talking about. I could just take these two tourists and go and uh, use them to complete my quests and kill people for me. But it doesn't really make sense. Like, I'm supposed to be their guide, yet I have no gun and armor, so I'm not going to do that. Not until I get a gun and armor, anyway, and he has no other quest. Really? Usually he has a. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, we will rescue that rookie. Yeah, he's a companion too, but I'd need a gun to rescue him anyway. So I'm just going to go in here and drop these two things. And now anything we find, we can keep. And there's four metal containers in the village. I'll just pop open quickly. And nothing. Oh, that's a shame. You know what, I can break this box as well. Just pop it there. Oh, shoot. Oh, a bandage. That's really lucky. <laughs> That's very lucky. No 
Uh, yeah. and there should be some stuff down here as well. Swiss knife is pretty good, so... Yeah, we can dismantle some stuff. Okay, chili beans. Oh, pick Hip's quest as well. Uh, she wants us to find a gun. Alright, well, we'll have to find our own first. Come on. Oh, another bandage. Wow. That's very lucky. Okay, that's all the metal containers in the village. Now, I can't save the game or anything because it's raining, of course. Um, I'll just go and get quests off all of these guys. Okay, so this is what we've got to start with. Um, it's not great. You can't even use the Swiss knife as a weapon, can you now? So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to listen for gunshots. Uh, I'll head around and try and loot things nearby. There are uh, random item spawns here and there. Yeah, not, not weapons or armor, of course, but, you know, crafting items, food, medical supplies. So I'll just look around for that while I'm waiting for, uh, oh, God, radiation grab. A plastic jar. And that's it. Check over by the camp here. I have to be very careful. If there's any mutants around, they'll kill me straight away, pretty much. So we'll just have to listen for any barking or meowing. Oh, I can see something over there. There's boars, yeah. I am not going to risk aggroing those. We'll have a look up here. Uh, okay, that's a flesh and some zombies. That's fine. They're not going to be any trouble. Uh, an empty syringe. Okay. Nothing in here. I'd like to check the tent down here. If there's no monster or mutants around. Oh, wow. Okay. Amazing start. Oh, uh, ooh. That's made me nervous now. That's very rare to find in that tent. You usually you get some some vodka or something, or maybe a, an old repair kit. The basic tools is a massive find. Uh, I'm going to head back to the village and just drop it off. Uh, I don't need to be carrying around any of that. It's, that. it's dogs, okay. Oh, maybe they'll kill someone? I doubt it. Oh, Jesus, there's one in here. <laughs> they might kill someone. There's a lot of them. Yeah, they might get that rookie over there. Go on. Oh, what the? It managed to bite me? Jesus. Is that rookie still alive? I'm bleeding a little bit. I'll just, um, I'll wait by the campfire, though. I'm not going to waste my two precious bandages. He's fine. So are the dog. Oh, there's some cats getting involved. Jesus. Okay, that guy's in big trouble. Cats are quite dangerous. 
Oh, he's down. Uh, I've got to be careful here. Yeah, okay, nice, nice. Is that guy dead? Oh, he's dead. Oh, wow. That's, you uh, know, it'll do. <laughs> it's a start. It's probably empty. It's empty. <laughs> uh, I can't save. Oh, there's no campfires. Shoot, okay. Well, I will use a bandage, sugar. Won't get a campfire until it stops raining, I'd say. Can't believe he managed to bite me there. Uh, what did he have? Okay, we'll save with that. that. I don't think I need that on me. Yeah. So. Yeah, that guy had practically no loot. I can't skin any of the mutants or anything because I have no. No knife. I think I just heard more gunshots though. Okay, I'm just gonna head over to uh, the farm buildings over there, give them a little loot. Oh, an artifact. That's a zombie and a bandit, okay. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting the artifact. Go on, zombie. Oh, okay, there's some cats getting involved again. Yeah, I think they killed him. Oh no, he's still alive. Uh, I don't want to be a bit higher up here, I think. <laughs> Just in case. Where'd the cat go? Oh, it's still there. Go on, get him. Flesh and the cat, they'll get him. Oh, go on. I can't tell if it's attacking him or not. Is he dead? He's still alive. I think he's down. I mean, I can't even go in and finish him. Is the cat going to see me now? Oh, the cat's killed itself. Okay, perfect. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, There's nothing I can do. Can I, can I jump on him? Can I say, give me your weapons? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I just hope he bleeds to death. If he gets up, I'll just run away. Oh, Jesus! I'm out. <laughs> no free guns here. No free guns today. Go check the farm. I might be able to sell that sourpuss and um, buy some bullets for this and come back and kill him. Maybe. No... No guards. And this fire is not on either. Wow. Okay. Extra hard start. Um, the problem with the sourpuss is I like the effect and I would like to keep it. But they're pretty common and I need the money early on. I doubt it'll even be enough to buy ammo for this. Yeah, 330. And how much would bullets for this gun cost? The FMJs, 840, wow, okay, I'll loop around the area a small bit and see what I can get. Oh, the jerry cans, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we can break these boxes as well. Just I'll push them out here a little bit. Pop up on the roof. Nothing. Ah, oh, nothing. What? 
a scientific stim pack and a bag of cocaine. Go on. Let the luck continue. Nothing. Ah, uh, parallel to goggles. Okay. Now, maybe I can sell all three of these and get enough for some bullets. That's not enough, is it? Oh, but I have a little bit extra, yeah, so that should be fine. Wait. They weren't that expensive a minute ago. Oh, yeah, there's not anything else. Is it? Yeah. That would have been a big mistake. Okay. Armed and dangerous. We'll head back and see if that bandit's still there. No, he's not here. Okay. He might be up there. We'll go have a look. I don't hear anything. I hear mutants. Oh, I did hear mutants. Okay, it's just flesh. That's fine. I mean, I could, I could maybe, I could, I could maybe go down to the car park and try to rescue that rookie, but I don't think 15 bullets would be enough to uh, kill however many bandits are down there. I mean, if it was two, maybe, but it's usually three or four. So I, I don't want to risk that. I'd like to find that bandit who's gone missing. Just check up at this little camp here and have a look. Let's see, some buckshot, that'll be good if we grab a shotgun. Some cigarettes are good for curing radiation, but we don't have any, uh... No, 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 go away. We don't have any, um, matches to light them, so they're kind of useless at the moment. Is cocaine good for again? Uh, it's basically just food. <laughs> what does it... It does first aid as well. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna sneak in. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! The plan is a fail. His gun was unloaded too, though. I can get away. Oh, my God. Right. You know, these things happen. Oh, that was really unfortunate. I really wanted to use that campfire to save. And to have a little heal as well. Uh, I don't want to use the scientific stim pack or the cocaine to heal at the moment. Oh, uh, there's that bandit. I mean, if he's on his own... Uh-oh. Looks like he's on his own. No, he's not on his own. Okay, never mind. Okay, we got a campfire, that's good. Is there any items? There's no items. Okay, I'm just gonna hide here for a few minutes and let his health pick up, so I'll be right back. Okay, so about four minutes has passed. Uh, his health's ticked up. I've been walking in a circle looking in every direction just to make sure I don't get ambushed. Uh, I think about four minutes is probably enough time for those bandits to have relaxed and probably sat down back by the campfire. So what we'll do is head down there again. Now I'm assuming those two bandits we saw on the way over here will probably have gone and joined them. So maybe we'll get, you know, a four for one. Or maybe I will be running with my tail between my legs again. We'll see. So, let's go. Okay. He's got a shotgun or some kind of rifle. What was that noise? Yeah, okay, and we're running. Uh, that might have also alerted the bandits in the car park. <laughs> and I'm taking down health again. I'll drink this vodka. 
just to keep as much as I can. I'll just have to be a little bit drunk now, so we're gonna have to be extra vigilant. I'm gonna try and take the long way around to the car park and maybe get that barrel. Hopefully that didn't alert the other guys. A couple of loners. Oh, they're, they're sitting in radiation. Guys, is the campfire? The campfire is irradiated. Something dead here. We'll just have a little look around. Maybe there's some loot. And I have an idea. Oh, is that more radiation? Jeez. Okay, that's another fire. We can at least save. So, this barrel here. I'm going to shoot it and see how many bullets it takes. So I know how many bullets I need to... Oh god, that's radiation there. Uh, I'll do it from the other side. To see how many more bullets the barrel down in the car park will take. Am I even hitting this thing? So, I'm not going to attempt to blow up the barrel. These are definitely... I don't even think these bullets can destroy those barrels now. Oh, he's still looking for me. Oh, he's de finally. Jesus. It's everywhere. I I wouldn't be the kind of guy who who gets shot in the back of the head and then goes and stands exactly where it happened. But hey, each to their own. Okay, one in the back of the head, a couple in the body, hopefully. Nope, none, and he's still alive. What a tank. He went down, he went down. No risks. Okay, we're in business. I'm gonna head back to that campfire. We've got armor, we've got a mask, we've got two guns. Now, the SKS, is that an SKS? Was I right? Yeah, it was an SKS. We'll be able to use that to bang the barrel. <laughs> bang the barrel? Uh, blow up the barrel. So I'm just gonna go and uh, heal up another bit and save. This, <sighs> this Walther has served us well. <laughs> Not very well. Okay, I'm just going to heal up for a while, and I'll be right back. The good news, while I was uh, walking around the campfire healing, it stopped raining. The bad news is our SKS's barrel is at 4%, and the rest of the parts aren't great, which means it's going to do practically no damage. Nowhere near what a, a rifle this powerful should do. It'll be like shooting with this gun, for instance. Uh, maybe even... Well, about the same, because the barrel on this one's a bit better. But the good news is that guy had quite a lot of stuff, so I'm going to head down to Loris and sell a few bits. The ball artifact, I don't really find the Nutcracker perk to be too useful. Not early on, until you've got good armor. Because uh, kicking mutants with no armor is just a recipe to bleed and die. Yeah, I'll play with some of this stuff. I'll favor the match. The one match we have. I'm going to favor that because we need them for quests. So I'm going to take all of this down to Loris and see if we can get any, any money. Maybe another few bullets for this. No, I can still shoot the barrel with it. Hopefully. I might go and test it on that other barrel first. So if we can afford a clip of ammo, I'll go and test it. See how many shots it takes to break the barrel. And then we'll go and uh, assault the car park again. I'm going to land it over there or something. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll stay away from him. Gotta be careful here now. Oh, who's that? Okay, good. Good. It is controlled by loners, and they're lighting all the fires. That's fantastic news. Yes, what can I sell to this fine gentleman? That's not bad. That's not too bad either. Yeah, it's kind of meh. I want to keep those. They're good crafting materials. And they're not worth much anyway, are they? No. So I'm not going to have enough to buy ammo for the SKS, clearly. Because these are very expensive. I won't even have enough. Well, I will have enough to uh, to load this up again, but this is... It's so bad that it couldn't even blow up the barrel, so... I can't get enough of that. I, I would have to hope that it would break the barrel in two shots. And it, the gun would definitely jam after one with the state of its parts. So I don't think it's worth trying that. And I don't have a PDA yet either, so I'm not sure what to do there. I guess what I'll do is I'll load this with two bullets and I'll go and try and kill that bandit outside. And hopefully get something functional like a shotgun, because I have a few bullets for that. And shotguns blow those barrels up in one hit. He might still be over here. I don't see him. Could be standing up against that wall on the other side. Or maybe whatever he was fighting killed him. Now nah, there he is. Oh, that's a rookie. Oh, so the rookie, he was fighting a rookie and the rookie killed him. Rookie, I mean, loner. And the rookie has, or the loner has probably searched him, so. Or not. Or he has not searched him. Ha <laughs> ha jackpot. That, that bandit has killed a lot of people. Uh, I'll tell you what. Inventory management it isn't that riveting of gameplay, so I will cut this down to me going through it all. And I'll just show you the end result. I, I don't really want to subject you to uh, Stalker Gamma's inventory management too much. And like, we're well equipped now. This armored leather jacket and these few guns, I'll be able to make something functional out of them. So I'll, uh, I'll just show you the results and I'll be back in a few minutes. So, the results are... The Taz is the weapon I've chosen because it was the only one that had a decent enough barrel to use. The only problem is going to be the gas tube in there. And I chose the CZ-52 because all of its parts were semi-decent. I stripped down all the other guns I had and replaced a few bits on the Taz and the CZ to make them ever so slightly better. Uh, I'm going to sell all of these because they're below 50%. And I kept you know a few good parts over here. These ones aren't great, but they're for... You can use them as, uh, uh, what are they called? Parts for crafting recipes, basically. And, um, yeah, we've got five buck, two armor-piercing slugs, and four regular slugs. Uh, eight normal bullets for the CZ, and then four armor-piercing bullets for the CZ. Well, slightly armor-piercing. Um, and I'm just going to leave the SKS here because it is in very bad condition. Uh, if I find a few more, uh, we'll try and fix it up. That'll be our first really good gun. But right now I'm quite happy with the Taz. So I'm gonna, just going to go sell this and maybe see if I can buy some ammo. Uh, for the CZ, probably. Because it does seem to be in quite decent condition barrel-wise. This one's only 36. This will be good for like a buckshot on the barrel that I've already shot down by the bandits. Should blow up straight away. So you can take all of those. And the glow stick. And that might be enough to get us some CZ ammo. It's definitely enough for shotgun ammo. Let's see. Let's have a look. These are very cheap. I could get those. They're... Yeah, I'll get these. It was expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. 
just in case I do come up against somebody slightly armored. Oh yes, I needed water. Ooh, a mistake has been made. Now I need to... Do I have any water? No. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna have to sell something to get water. What do I have? Got that. Got the ramrod. Sell the ramrod, that's no problem. Just a shovel. Glowing goggles. Try and keep these. Might sell those. Well, I hope that's enough to get me a drink. Can take the ramrod and the bullets. Oh, wow, okay, those bullets were valuable. And we'll get the water. I lost a bit of health because of that, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. So that will save. And we will put these in. Make sure the Taz is loaded with Buckshot. Oh, such a beautiful gun. This was my favorite weapon in um, Operation Flashpoint Resistance. Uh, Operation Flashpoint, yeah, the first Operation Flashpoint, I think it was, Cold War Crisis, and then the Resistance expansion added these. They were called Coslices, though, so it might be a different gun, but it was the first time I'd ever seen a, a double-barreled shotgun where the barrel was on top of the other barrel. Very cool. Okay, so now we're going to go and try and rescue that hostage yet again. After we rescue him, we'll head down to... Wolf, and now, since I have armor and a weapon, I'll be able to take uh, companion quests, because I won't feel like I'm being babysat. Okay, nice. Excellent, made our, made our ammo back. And some more bandages, it's always welcome. Get that save. We'll go and rescue the rookie. Oh, got you. Radiation, okay. Just check around for other bandits, just in case. heard something. Alright. He doesn't have a very good gun, but neither do I. I think he's... Oh no, he's in, he's in the building. Okay. Don't get shot in the head. Don't get shot in the head. Soak it up to save this guy. So he must have been resting at that other campfire over there. That's nice. Anything over here? No? Okay. Right, let's get this gentleman back to the village. Can you just ignore that? Can you just stop? Okay, from this point, I'm just going to hand in the quest and do some more inventory management. Any any purchases I'll make, I'll make sure to record those. So, here we go. Job's done. And now I'll just continue with some inventory management and healing by the campfire. Okay, so we're all healed up. And I've moved everything into my inventory. Now we're just going to go and see what we can get for this from Sidrovich. And then I'll uh, I'll call an, an episode. Oh, 
mind we can we can take that uh, that quest off walk now as well. We'll do that in a sec. So things we need: PDA, a detector, and a knife. We have six grand. A, a PDA costs six grand, so I don't think I'll go for that first. Detectors are five grand. Could do with an RF receiver as well. Knife. Knife is pretty cheap, so we'll take the knife. We also have no form of medication. Well, we do have the scientific stim pack, but that's like... We want to keep that for a, a proper emergency or doing some kind of, like, turn off the brain scorcher mission or something. But uh, what I will do is I will place it in F4. So in case of an emergency, I will slam that straight away. Now... We'll take one medical kit. <laughs> or will we? How much do I need to sell you to convince you to give me a medical kit? Alright, a little bit more. You want a shovel? No, it's not very good. Boombox? Oh, that's good enough. Will that get us? No, not quite. How much are they? 3 seven fifty. Right. Jeez, that's expensive. Uh, plastic jar is worthless. Goggles? Keep the duct tape. You have the syringe. Yeah, there we go. Our first med kit. <laughs> Our first med kit. Wonderful. Okay, we'll favorite that. And we'll be able to loot mutant parts as well now because we have a knife. Alright, I'll go and save. Oh, our first level in strength as well because we've been running around with empty inventories most of the time. So we'll call it an episode there, and thank you so much for watching. If you uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment, talk to me, let me know if I can do things better, or uh, get, give me some advice, anything like that. I'd really appreciate it. Okay? Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.